Woo! Testing, testing, testing. I'm glad it's on today. So, um, I'm watching Blood Box and I come across this little video. 21 things to do if you had 10 million dollars in 10 years to live. I'm oh, all right. Oh, let's say 10 billion. My bad. First of all, 10 billion dollars. Uh, I'm going to be stupid at first. First thing I do is, um, uh, I go buy a media outlet, maybe a small newspaper, and I go ahead and expose all those who wronged me in the past in my own personal newspaper. That's the first thing I do. The second thing I do is go buy a small island of some sort and equip it with everything possibly needed for the next 15 to 20 years. Small is land. Yes, I want it is land for myself. So my small island, and on my small island, I'd have to also have me a helicopter. So I have to get my helicopter number three and jet. So I'll put that in the same thing as transportation on my little island. Of course, you got the big yacht. So you know, I have the, the super yacht, the helicopter, the jet, and the airport. Hey. Ten billion dollars. I got to have a small airport too. Why are you gonna have a damn helicopter and a marina? All right. Okay, all that is gonna go into four. Now, the fifth thing I do has nothing to do with money. It just has something to do with family. So the fifth thing I do is I invite every family member I have to this island. That's what I would do. So now I got all my family members, and I'm, no, I can't have certain family members there. Brothers like to fuck with your jet. I'm serious. I had a friend who had a jet, and his family member fucked it up. But that's another story. I'll tell y'all about that later. Now, the fifth thing I would do if I didn't already get to five is very simple. I put together a political situation. I create my own political party that would best benefit the people of America. Throughout all adversity, there's no party that truly represents the people. Everyone's got a constituent. So, let's think of six. And, since I do have political aspirations, I want to be the first uneducated man to ever make a damn difference. Period. That's seven. Uneducated making a difference. Eight, I would create a medical facility just to research African American ailments only. We need doctors who know our bodies and not someone that can look at someone else's body and assume that you're the same kind of person. Your insides are the same. You're different. Women and men are different, but yet still women and men are the same doctors. See what I'm saying? Black folks and white folks are different. We need doctors that best suit us and know our problems. In other words, when a black man has a heart attack and you rush him to uh, Washington Memorial Hospital, that's most likely that his black ass might die. He ain't got his, his uh, insurance card right there in his pocket. The brother's gone. The black woman's gone. The, 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 the person of color is gone. There's no chance in helping him without his insurance up front. And don't get me wrong, if you're a dusty ass white person, you probably won't get seen either. But, let me get on to number 10. After I've created my hospital, my science and, and stuff facility, that's $10 billion. I think I've spent three to five. I'd go ahead and build a university educate the young people of America who can't sit in these classrooms and learn these lessons in this fashion. If you can't, you can't teach every person exactly the same. Period. Inner city college which will be free for anybody who's living below the poverty line. Maybe this university will be the greatest ever. Okay. I'm at 11 or something or whatever. I don't I'm just going to ramble until you tell me to stop. Or until this damn timer go on. So listen. The next thing I would do. 
is I'd go ahead and sponsor as many as young people as physically possible. Because my time is limited, and I'm dying, I've got all this crap going on. I need to sponsor people and build their futures. That's what I do at number 12. 13. I'd go buy the beloved Golden State Warriors and change the name to the Oakland Warriors. That's what I would do. Fourteen. I go build a statue, just like the one they had of Saddam Hussein, but of my father, and put it right down in the middle of downtown, where he got so much grief from this place where I live at right now, in this county of Sonoma. That's what I'm doing. Fourteen. Fifteen. I go by the project. Yeah, fifteen. I go by the projects that I grew up in as a little boy in Rodale, California. I go by the projects down. There. Buy that completely. 16. I would go to the apartment complex I lived in in Richmond, California, and buy that one too. Yes, I will. 18. Hmm. I, re I already said I do that. I would put forth some money so I can have my body sent into outer space the day I die. That's a good one. 18. Hmm. I go visit the graves of all the great black leaders in history. Every gravesite around the planet. 19. put some funds aside to drive out the invaders that took over Africa. 20. I create a biological disease that would only kill stupid, racist, ignorant, dumbass people who have no sense of human respect and dignity for all Americans. No, I couldn't do that. That's too, that's, that's evil. I can't do that. Oh, I would set some money aside, maybe $2 billion, to place in a bank account for minorities to draw off of in the next Great Depression. And 21, if I haven't skipped any, or if I, I'm pretty sure I had an extra, 21, this would be the day I got the $10 billion. I would walk around and I'd find as many rich, snobby ass people and smack the fucking shit out of each and every one of them until somebody got the balls enough to call the police. And when the police got there, tell them who I was, I'd tell them how much I got. And I demand they get me to a safe location because this fool is getting on my nerves, making me mad enough to smack the shit out of him. I do that. I'll throw a bonus in there for you. I would fix it so when somebody died and they were famous, that there would be a limit on how many hours you'd have to see this person on television after their death. One distraction is enough to throw the whole world off whack. Oh yeah, and I save a little extra money in there so I can pay the blood and apples wedding in Jamaica in the rainforest. Well, everybody's wearing white clothes. Mm -hmm. You put a waterfall in the background. The zebra, the giraffe. Then um, Apple can come in riding on a unicorn or something. I don't know. That's what I do with the $10 billion. You guys have a great time. Have a good one. And you've been tuned.